It's a place where Roman gladiators talk about their lives. Where watching snakes eat lunch isn't out of the ordinary. Where singing in the choir isn't just an extracurricular activity. It's the Missouri Scholars Academy. The Missouri Scholars Academy, or MSA, held its first session in 1985 and celebrated its 25th anniversary in 2009. The program's inspiration was to create a new and different learning environment for gifted Missouri high schoolers. This year, 330 of the brightest incoming juniors from around Missouri participated in the three-week program. Serving as the students' guides are resident assistants, several of whom went to MSA while they attended high school. Kelly Kasten said she became an RA based on her positive experience with the program. I was a scholar in 2005 and had an absolutely incredible experience um, and I decided um, that I was going to come back and see the staff side of it, see the administrative side. Before MSA, as I'm sure a lot of gifted students would say, I felt different and I felt kind of pushed to the side. I think coming here was just a level playing field and it showed that everyone is equal here and that everyone has something absolutely incredible to offer. During this time, students have full days of activities, which include academic classes, cultural activities, debates, recreational activities, community service, and just relaxing and meeting new friends. Each year's MSA experience is unique, and the program means something different to everyone involved. But the most important thing that a student gains from MSA is one and only one thing, that it's okay to be right, that it's okay to have talent, and it's okay to use that brightness or that talent. Um, I wanted to be a journalist from as long as I could remember. I wanted to write, and I wanted to, um, journalism was my thing. And I came here and I thought, you know, um, maybe changing students' lives is a little bit more important. There's a lot of people here, but no one's negative, and everyone's trying to uplift everyone else. Uh, you know, I really like the interaction with the kids. Um, the reason why I decided to teach high school rather than to uh, teach college is that I really enjoy seeing them progress. My sister went to it, and I know a lot of other people who've gone to it in the past, and it's just a really, really fantastic program. She just graduated from high school in May, and so, you know, we just went through the whole college thing, and she actually, you know, got accepted in the Ivy Leagues, but she decided to stay in state, largely due to her experience at MSA. Michael Kersalov, a teacher from Crestridge High School in Johnson County, first heard about MSA this past December and decided to get involved. Now, Kersalov is part of the MSA faculty, which includes instructors from high schools, colleges, and universities from around the state. Well, the, the big class, the major class, is uh, Shakespeare, and the title is, When well, There's a Will, There's a Way, Shakespeare Today, where you look at uh, a traditional text and more modern adaptations through film and through uh, stuff. Uh, the first time I asked a question in my class here at MSA, I would say about 90% of the kids raise their hand to answer it. Also, uh, they're just really energetic. They realize that, they, uh, that it's a good thing to be here, that it's special to be here, that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for them. And they, they take advantage of that. As long as we've got teachers who, by offering this curriculum, will expose bright students to materials they will not get in an ordinary setting, and, in many cases, they can take back some of this material to their own home schools who are improving the quality of K-12 through education throughout the state. Ted Tarko, who aided in MSA's inception and has been with the program since the very beginning, said he hopes that students respond positively to MSA and embrace the unique experience. MSA means to me that learning can be refreshing, exhilarating, can really open up academic and personal lives. And if you do this with impressionable teenagers, what you're doing is setting them up for an adventure in learning that the rest of their lives can in fact be. Ooh.